so who are a bunch of goofballs that are making the beautiful pottery? <laughs> that's, oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's a quote from your website. That is a quote from your website. I can't really think of a, a better, more true right. word. Um, we have uh, 12 folks out there now. Um, Yeah, it might be like their first time ever making pottery or some people have made pottery for a really long time, mm -hmm. but a bunch of different skill sets and levels are they're sweet. Hi, I'm Connie Matisse. I'm one of the owner, owners and founders of East Fork Pottery. How long have you been in Nashville for? Um, I personally have been in Asheville for 10 years this year, which is exciting. Uh, my husband moved to Asheville almost 15 years ago, which also feels totally nuts. Um, we, he moved from Massachusetts, I moved from Los Angeles, and our company oh. has been here in Asheville for 10 years. So that was my next question. So this company was here for in Asheville for 10, 10 20 mm -hmm. years? Yeah, he started the company here in Asheville in 2009. The store itself has only been here for about a year mm -hmm. and a half, though. So you were just an online presence? Kind we of had company. a little bit of an online, but before when we started, we were really a, a traditional rural North Carolina pottery where we lived, we worked mm -hmm. out in a workshop um, out in Madison County, mm -hmm. um, sold at craft fairs, had big kiln sales, um, very, very different model than you do now. Okay. And how did you come up with the idea of um, opening a pottery shop? Well, my store. husband uh, started, he's been working with Clay since he was mm -hmm. uh, in sixth grade, and he always knew he wanted to be a potter. and. Um, so he started making pottery as an apprentice a long time ago, and then when I came along, wanted to do something a little bit different, mm -hmm. and so... Um, broaden the Yeah, to broaden it, to make pots that appeal to more than just pottery collectors, mm -hmm. so make pots that appeal to, you know, your mom, and your mm -hmm. hip sister in New York, mm -hmm. and your brother-in-law, you know, lots of different aesthetics. And so we really make a product that we think can fit on all sorts of tables, uh, not just um, people who are, you know, pottery, geeks like we are. Oriented. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a typical client? We re it's really all over the place. Uh, we have a really awesome local following. Uh, there, That's kind of our, mm -hmm. you know, our, our bread and butter is our, our locals who come and support and buy little gifts here and there, either for themselves or for their, mm -hmm. for, for gifts. Uh, we have a nice tourist uh, crowd. Obviously we're on Lexington. Lexington's an awesome street to be on as a as a business owner, mm -hmm. and so we had people coming in and, and buying like maybe an oil or, or a mug, uh, but yeah, pretty wide range of, of people. Again, like we really try to, to have a little bit of something for everyone. Is there something that you like most about what you do, about mm -hmm. running this business or any aspect of the business? Well, there's so, this is this business, running this business is such a joy, it's so fun. Uh, th some things that I really like are working in a store where we get to source not just East Fork, but other people's work. Mm -hmm. uh, you get to meet so many amazing vendors, people that I've admired for a really long time and mm -hmm. whose work I really love. Now I have a, an excuse to email them and say, hey, let's start a connection, let's, can I sell your product in my store? And I've made so many friends that way, and so that's, that's really, really fun. I love writing our newsletter because I get to share poems and recipes mm -hmm. and uh, really connect with people who I wouldn't otherwise have a reason to connect with. But, yeah. So do you do collaborations with those other artists or people who have um, their products off in your store? Yeah, let me show you some of this new stuff that we have in from a glass maker named Hayden Wilson. Mm -hmm. He's in the River Arts District. His stuff is kind of sprinkled all over the place, but we just have him make these beautiful um, pastel rocks glasses. He made these are in, in a pretty purple color and this nifty green color. Um, and so yeah, he's in the, the River Arts District and does beautiful, beautiful work. Uh, mm -hmm. We have Andy McFate who's in Swannanoa, who does beautiful cutting boards for us. Mm -hmm. um, a handful of local folks and then other people who, as far as Japan or Los Angeles, who uh, we have long-term relationships Anything with. Anything that you like least? We went from a team of six to 30 in one year. Wow, that's um, a big jump. It's a big jump. So right now, um, my husband and I both work for the same company, which is a joy, but also a curse. We have two small children and running your own business um, and trying to grow means that we are never not working, right. uh, which is fun because we're, we get to have really fun conversations mm -hmm. and, um, and it feels like we're really in something together, mm -hmm. but also we're both so tired all the time. Right. right. So. I think a lot of business owners can relate to that yeah. aspect. Yeah. And I, <laughs> I know some people Your flexible who, hours, uh, which 20 hours a day you want to work, right? Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. People, exactly. Some people are like, well, that's great. You own your own business. You can take vacation whenever you want. Right. You can have your own schedule. It's like, no, you are never not working. And right. I know that lots of business yep. owners can Sounds identify familiar. with that. Yeah. Being in Asheville. And being in downtown Asheville, seeing all the tourists um, and just people 
keep moving to Asheville and seeing all that growth that we have, why do you think, what's, what is it about Asheville that makes people move here? Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, I think for me, I was in a bigger city. I'm from Los Angeles, lived in New York, ended up in, in Asheville because I wanted to kind of get away from the rat race a little bit. Um, and it, it's just a very livable city. The fact that you can like walk to three grocery stores or mm -hmm. to four coffee shops. Um, mm -hmm. The fact that uh, it's a small town where it feels like you can know people when you go to the grocery store, but there's still mm -hmm. several restaurants that I want to eat, eat in. Right. Um, I think it has a lot of the draw of big cities that but like things to do mm -hmm. and things to eat without all of the chaos. Mm -hmm. um, that's changing, which is a little yeah. scary. To, I know it's scary for people, but hopefully, uh, I think what it, what's really amazing about Asheville is there's a, a really deep sense of community. Mm -hmm. and my hope is that this change is gonna happen with a lot of intention. Um, we'll see. If you could describe Asheville in one word, what would that be? Ooh, one word for Asheville. One word for Asheville. Livable. Well, I don't know, actually. I take that one back. <laughs> you have, you get two attempts. <laughs> um, hmm, potential. Potential. Yeah. A lot of potential. Potential. Yeah. I think it's a, a city that, well, potential is my word, but here's the disclaimer is that I think it's a, it has the unique opportunity of, of being able to define itself mm -hmm. in a way, uh, which, is, which is a really hard task because mm -hmm. we want to make sure that we're considering it, the history of that Asheville already has mm -hmm. while integrating new ideas. Mm -hmm. um, do you have different lines of products, um, maybe different collections, mm -hmm. seasonal so let's stuff? Let's take a look at this back wall really quickly and um, can, we can walk on back this way. Um, you can see all of our mugs right here. And back here is our big wall of dinnerware. Um, we kind of like to think of, I kind of think of it as like a Levi's jean bar, you know, mm -hmm. when you go in there's, mm -hmm. um, so this is our standard dinnerware collection. You can, you, you can add on to it. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, several years from now, we hope to be making exactly the same collection. And then we have uh, introduced new colorways twice a year. So okay. uh, we'll have like a, right now we have a beautiful terracotta and a purple uh, on the shelves mm -hmm. for spring. And in the fall, we'll switch that up. Um, oh, also, locals should keep an eye out for uh, our sample sales and second sales, which happen twice a year. Um, and we take all of the pottery that, that's just a little bit um, not quite right and mm -hmm. mark it down half off to 70% off and it's a, a big event just really for our local. So when's community. the next one? <gasps> September. But September. I don't know when yet. Yeah. So keep an eye, locals an eye <laughs> and visitors who and are visitors visiting. who happen to be there. Yeah. Right now we're making the pots in Madison County, but we're going to be opening up in Biltmore Village in August. So, so second so location or no? Uh, location? We're moving the production from Madison oh, County okay. to Biltmore Village. Um, so we're really excited about that. We're going to all of our staff will be under one roof instead of working from all over the place. Right. So. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so and much. Congratulations on expanding. Thank you. That's a big, big, big jump, like you said. Yeah, it's terrifying, but <laughs> you can do it. Nothing happened from a place of complacence and, you know, that is comfort. True. <laughs> so, that is true. Great. Well, um, thank you so much for um, taking time. Everybody can find the store right here in downtown Asheville on Lexington Avenue, um, right down the street from it's the Dobra. Dobra tea. Yeah, vintage moon. Uh -huh. So, and also they have a website. We do. It's uh, fortypottery.com. And a Facebook page. Uh -huh. And an Instagram. Instagram, yeah. So social All media, Instagram. website, and a physical location where you can come and check it out. Stop by. It's very beautiful. Um, and support local business. Thank you.